recently something really crazy happened to me and I was in my room and all of a sudden it felt like I had thousand tentacles coming out out from my body like and all these tentacles were tuning into the energy of the surrounding like it could be the neighbor it could be the people outside of the house someone in a television I don't know who it was but it just felt like I was tuning into thousands of different energy and it was extremely uncomfortable and I'm telling you I'm not an empath I'm not like highly sensitive person but out of the blue it just happened so randomly and I was not expecting that and it's just extremely uncomfortable it feels like you're gonna have a heart attack or you're gonna die the next the, the, the minute later you're gonna die or um, it kind of it also feels like you're in the tornado or you're in a washing machine it's like spinning around and it's a very uncomfortable feeling so I had to leave the house but it was I felt like it wasn't safe I wasn't grounded enough so I immediately just grabbed the crystal that was in my house and it's malachite and rose quartz so I found malachite and rose quartz just in my room so I grabbed it and went like this and I did some meditation I just did a, did a deep breathing breathe in breathe out I mean it doesn't have to be the malachite and the rose quartz it doesn't have to be that combination it could be any crystal but that's just was you know just just find any, anything and I immediately felt better I felt grounded and that feeling went away and I was wondering why I feel like that but it, it wasn't the first time that I felt that way and it would happen to me like once a year or just like once or twice a year or it's, it's not like an annual thing and I never knew why it happened and I couldn't really explain what was going on I realized that hey Halloween is coming up Halloween and you know what that means? That means Halloween is a very, very magical day of the year and it's very special. And it's a very sacred day because the veil between the other side of the world and this physical dimension is the thinnest. That means people could tune into spirits more. Um, you might be more sensitive to energy. You might feel different because the energy is literally changing and so I was like oh okay it's Halloween maybe that's why I'm being more sensitive and I'm not overreacting but it's just the universal energy that's happening right now and the shift is happening and so Halloween is a very special day and I just wanted to talk a little bit about Halloween um, I'm not an expert in this, but I'll just talk about what I know. So people just, you know, wear a costume and they party and kids go trick-or-treating. They wear their costume and ask for candy. And it's just a fun celebration. But it used to be a very sacred, um, special day for the Celtics. And they believe that when... The, when people die, they believe that the spirit or the soul goes to the place called the Summerland. And the spirits are still wandering around. And the day of the Halloween, which is October 31st, is a time when the spirits come back to this physical realm. Um, why? Maybe because they're lost or maybe they miss their family or loved ones. I'm not exactly sure why, but they come back and people saw more spirits during that time. And not only like dead people, but even fairies, witches, demons, um, all the positive and the, the good and the bad. You know, it's not just the bad spirit, but the good and the bad. People back then, they were a lot more spiritual and they were a lot more psychic than we are today. So they probably did see all the spirits back in the days. But Celtics believe that um, it was one of the most important day of the year. And it, it's like a celebration of the dead spirit because they saw it. 
Halloween basically means it's All Hallows Eve. So it's now more important than the actual Hallows Day. So Halloween is actually the Eve of the Hallows Day, which is the first day of the autumn. It's the New Year's for the Celts. And back in the days, Celts thought um, the Hallows Eve was the most um, magical day because the veil between the other side of the world and this dimension is the thinnest. Um, they believe that the dead spirits will, will wander around in this physical dimension. They use the lantern. They use the jack-o'-lantern. Um, I love jack-o'-lantern. It's so cute. And they, they put you know candle inside of the, the pumpkin and so that the spirits will be guided to the right direction or they will know where to go. They will they'll be able to find a house. Halloween is also known as Samhain, but it's also pronounced Samhain in Ireland. This is a time to shed weaknesses, so some people like to write their weaknesses on a piece of paper and then burn it in the cauldron to symbolically release themselves from them. One custom is to light a new orange candle at midnight and let it burn until sunrise for good luck. And you can also burn black candles and those are good to ward off negative energies. Other spiritually related activities to do on Samhain include past life recall, spirit contact, meditation, astral projection, and banishing magic. In Ireland, it is still the custom to leave candles in the window and plates of food for visiting spirits. Keep a fire lit or a candle burning all night to honor and welcome the dead. And I just wanted to let you know that Halloween is not just a day to party and wear a costume, but it's a very spiritual day.